Okay, now we've seen how to do the direct entry method of data entry and um, in the last video, and now we're going to um, try to pull um, data in from outside of SAS in text files. And if we have time, we'll get to Excel uh, import and exporting, and, but if we don't have time to do that, we'll get that in the next video. I'm going to go ahead and set up my SAS data folder here, and I'm going to put that into my new SAS data portion. I cover, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, I covered that in uh, video one, um, SAS for True Beginners. So um, what I've got here is um, a f on my desktop I've got saved a couple of different text files, and so these are different ways that you might see data coming in. Um, so that's one case, and then here's another. So we'll start with the more straightforward one here first. I don't. Uh, hopefully, you can see that. I you may not be able to. So let's see. So I've increased the size. So hopefully, you can get a sense of what this data looks like. So um, pretty large data set and. Um, perfect example of why we would not want to do the direct entry method. I mean, who would want to key all this stuff in, right? Um, so I'm going to minimize this, but I'm also going to actually uh, do something here. And I'm going to get a control copy and pull these variable names in. Um, and I'm just going to control V and paste those in here. It doesn't make sense to SAS right now, but you'll see in a minute why I did that. So just like we did before with the direct entry method, we're going to start by naming our file. And so we'll call this SAS data um, softball. <coughs> and um, then here's the new thing. Uh, this is the statement when you want to pull data in from outside. So we do in file, and you can uh, now go to, um, let's see. I like to do, do it this way. Just you have to find the path to the file that you're talking about. So I do properties, and then I um, control copy this part and control V for paste. And then I need to do another thing here where we do the name of the file sb407.txt, and then. Um, Okay, and so what we we'll need to do is take a look at our data set, um, and um, it, it, the highlighted cells here obviously are the names of the columns, and so we want to tell SAS that to <coughs> that our, our real data starts in row two. So row one is the names of you know the variables um, or the columns. So um, I like to keep this you know, text file handy so I can reference it, but this command is called first obs. It means the first observation uh, equals two. So that tells SAS to begin reading uh, the actual data and compiling it for row number two. Um, this is the same from here on out pretty much. Uh, input and we have our variable names here, and the only thing to check here is whether we have any variables that are character, um, or is, and, and we do. Uh, the result, or RES, is character data. The rest of it is numerical, so we shouldn't need any dollar signs there, but we will need one here for RES. And so, um, essentially we're done, um, and so let's run this file and see control here and run that. So 407 records, it says that it was read in successfully and so um, we can go to the SAS data uh, folder library and we can see here's our data set and indeed you know it's, it's all there right. Um, hopefully you can see this. Um, but so now we've verified that that's there, and so that's essentially the process. You can see the in file is uh, the command for bringing data in from outside. Okay, so let's see if we wanted to add a new variable here. You know, what would we? Uh, how would we do it? So I don't know. Looking at the data here, we might want to say that if a team has more than three errors, uh, we need to call out a careless team. 
So um, we might put a new variable in here that says uh, if errors uh, is greater than or equal to three, then the new variable name, which is careless, equals. Now, by the way, you don't have to put a dollar sign after this because SAS is going to know that it's ca uh, categorical data. Um, else careless equals no. So notice that I just altered the code that I'd already done. I don't have to start all over. That's what's nice about SAS. I can just go in and it'll automatically um, alter the data set. You know, uh, I don't have to, I can just keep working on the same bit of code. And in fact, that's a good idea to do. Um, so you can see the careless. We have a new variable here. Um, and it's called careless. And so that worked very well. Um, now let's go and take a look at the case where we want to pull an Excel um, spreadsheet in. Very similar. Here on my desktop I have saved a, an Excel spreadsheet that's called Serial uh, Data and I'll open that um, if my computer will cooperate and be quick for me. Um, and so you can see this is just a, an Excel spreadsheet. Um, now one thing to note, at least my version of SAS doesn't like the brand new um, Excel document, so I always have to save things as the 97 to 2003. Uh, that may be different on your version, but just keep that in mind. If you experience an error in what I'm about to show you, then that's probably the cause. Go back and resave your Excel spreadsheet as a 97 to 2003 version, and it should, it'll probably work fine for you. Um, so what we're going to do here is we want to read in the serial data set. And so we're going to do import data, um, yes, a Microsoft Excel. This is so easy. Um, so then I'm going to browse for the workbook that I want. I'm going to go to my desktop, and it was serial data. Um, press OK. And uh, yeah, sheet one, that is what I want. And then in the work folder, it's asking you, you know, what do you want to call it? So I'm going to just call it serial. Not a very creative name. Now this says um, that the import wizard can create a file containing the proc import statements um, that can be used in SAS programs to import this data again. Um, if you want these statements to be generated in the file name where they should be saved. I don't ever do this just because the import wizard is so easy, I find, to pull the data in, but you are welcome to do it and just try it on your own if you'd like to. Um, so this says in my log up here, work.serial data set was successfully created. And we're not going to find that in SAS data because um, I didn't choose to save it in SAS data or data. Um, <laughs> but in the work folder, you know, here is serial. And so um, you can see now this is a SAS data set that I can work with. Um, and there are uh, you know, 40 observations here and you would be ready to go to work. Um, let's say that we did want to save this to SAS data. So I would just say SAS data dot serial and say set serial run. And so that's how you transfer something over into your SAS data folder. You just you know, this is the naming statement, and you tell you use a set statement, set serial, um, and uh, that's all there is to it. And then it'll be in the SAS data folder. So here it is. There's the serial set. So that's a quick overview of the two main ways, um, at least in, in my experience, that uh, data is brought from outside of SAS into SAS. Um, the one is just you know a text file that's um, that's on the desktop uh, or in a folder, and the other is when we have an Excel uh, file um, stored in some folder somewhere. Uh, those are the two main ways to bring it in.